What's up, America? It's your boy, the hustling godfather, and I was just sitting here thinking about the future of weed. Now, I want you to hear me out because I think the die has been cast for virtually every state in very short, next two, three years to fully legalize weed. And I'm gonna talk about why I think this is gonna happen and the driving economic forces that are going to spur the bud into a prominent landscape in the United States. All right, if this is the first time here, what I want you to do is go below and get 30 days to 2,500, enroll in your how to start a business course and also get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. All right, so I'm not a weed smoker. I don't really know a lot about weed, but I'm a business person and I can smell opportunity. The states, the high unemployment, the recession that we're in, states are gonna need money. Do you understand that with 40 something million people unemployed, the unemployment insurance funds are being drained like a V8 with, the floor, with your foot to the floor? I mean, it's like, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these states unemployment insurance funds were close to critical levels, like say a state like New York or say a state like California. And the states are gonna need money, the federal government's gonna need money, individuals are gonna need money. And I feel that this sets the table for people to get what they want, because a lot of people want legalized weed. And even though weed is legalized in, I think, Washington, California, and Colorado, people are still going to jail for selling weed outside of the system. And what, what I think is gonna happen, because this is something that no one's really talking about, no one's really looking at right now. But if, let's just go ahead and consider a few possibilities. If the Democrats win the Senate, I think this is on. This is, this is clearly on. And we're gonna have people lighten up across America because it's gonna be legal. All of this weed legislation, hemp law, hemp oil, weed, all of these things have been kind of stalled by you know, conservative members of the population. But I feel that we, in really short order, are going to have legalized weed in all 50 states, in all forms, and it's going to be a growth industry. Because right now, there is a Canadian stock of weed that is literally crashing because they're just, it isn't that weed is a bad business, it's just they're managing the business badly. And that's another thing. So I feel that there's gonna be many players, there's gonna be many people participating in the weed market. Putting out weed, having weed, selling weed, growing weed, there's gonna be designer weed, there's gonna be organic weed, there's just gonna be crazy. And I feel that this, once this dam breaks, I feel that this is going to open the doors for other pharmaceuticals. Because if you didn't know, cocaine used to be perfectly legal in America at one time, and then people's like, oh, that's bad stuff. Then there was the prohibition against alcohol, and then that disappeared. And I feel that this wall is gonna disappear because they, these, these states, they're gonna need money. They're gonna need a lot of money. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna start selling weed and they're gonna tax it to the bejesus, pretty much like cigarettes are taxed. And people will pay that tax to light it up. People will pay that tax to have edibles. And one of the things is, I might get in the weed business. I might become a proprietor of the weed because like I said, no one's really talking about it, but I sense that the congressional, because I don't know if it's still an issue because I know that people who were selling weed in Colorado, selling weed in California and Washington State had banking issues because selling a weed was local, was on the local level legal, but on the federal level, it was not. And I don't know if that's still a thing, 
but I think that firewall is going to disappear because, you know, these guys literally had to hire all of these bodyguards because they had, they were dealing in cash because they couldn't have a bank account. These guys had safes on their property holding all of this cash because they couldn't have bank accounts. And I, I think it's kind of silly that, you know, during the Obama years they were talking about where well, we're not going to enforce it, but we're not going to change the laws. And that made the banks kind of like really, really nervous because it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's legal on the local level at the state level, but the federal state at the federal level it's not legal and the federal level is what governs all banking across the United States. So that could have put them in harm's way and that could have led to a lot of nasty stuff and the banks was like, we don't want any part of that. We're not gonna have any of that. But I feel that in the next decade, we're gonna see a great deal of legislation. We're gonna see pharmaceuticals. We're gonna see wonder drugs. Like, remember the movie Limitless? We're going to see some stuff like that come out. And it's going to be very, very expensive because if it works and it don't kill you, I see people paying $100 a pill for this something, something that could literally enhance your well-being, your senses, and make you smarter. Yeah, they're going to pay a lot of money for those kind of pills. And you're gonna see a new wave of designer drugs, weed, you know, cause I, I remember this time I used to date this girl who was a weed smoker and she lit up one time and her weed was so different than any weed that I've ever smoked before. And I was like, what's that? She's like, I don't smoke that, that, that trash. My stuff is designer. And it was very fragrant. So you're gonna see a whole new era of weed you're going to see designer drugs and this is going to be a result of this pandemic because necessity is the mother of invention and all of these states I'm, I'm telling you i feel that this is going to happen because right now you know there's posturing you know got what mitt romney marching with the protesters trump wants to send out the national guard and no one's really thinking about this and it's kind of like the guy who invented the technology for you to touch your phone. This was something that happened, I believe, in 1989. He was an Asian dude, and they literally said that this technology was going to revolutionize everything because it enabled you to touch your phone and, do, and for the phone to conduct your finger into action. And, you know, he did all that. And the guy's a billionaire. And we're going to see a wholesale of crazy stuff that's about to come because, you know, I've been giving you the bad news. I've been giving you the news about the joke that, you know, unemployment's 13.3%. It's time to talk about some good news. And I feel that the entrepreneurs who are positioning themselves right now, because see, you're not gonna be able to get in once this thing gets going because there's gonna be too much money like the folks who have been well established in the weed industry, they got billions of dollars of cash. It's gonna be hard to outmaneuver these people. So you need to get into the weed market if that's your thing right now. You need to position yourself. You need to learn how to get into a grow house. You need to start working in the industry. You, start, you need to start learning as much as you can about this because I feel that this is going to be a growth industry and it's gonna be very, very lucrative for everyone that gets involved now. You, you, you cannot wait until it's like booming because at that point it's gonna be too late. And for many people it may already be too late because the people in Colorado, California and Washington state, I am not, excuse me, if I don't know all of the states where weed is legal. Like I said, this isn't my thing. I don't smoke weed, I don't know anything about weed, but I do know business. And I know when a void is created, and also many of these small businesses that have closed, many of those entrepreneurs are gonna get in the weed business. Because once you become an entrepreneur, once you get a taste, it's hard to go back to regular life. I mean, it's virtually impossible. So a lot of these uh, dejected, heartbroken entrepreneurs are gonna get in the weed business, and because they gotta do something. You know, once you get that, that juice of the entrepreneurship in you, 
it's hard to let go. So you're going to see a lot of people transition their business skills to the pharmaceutical industry. I, I really feel that that's going to happen very, very soon. I feel right now, you know, we use this at an all time high alcohol abuse, alcohol consumption is at an all time high because people are stressed. And then, you know, when you get to the smoking weed and you get to the edibles and you get to the derivatives of weed, it's going to be insane. And there's going to be somebody who's watching this video who's going to take action, get in the weed industry, and in their first or second year in the weed industry, they're going to become a millionaire. It's going to happen. I just see it. I, I can feel it in my bones, as the, as the people like to say, because right now, it is crazy what is happening. And in crazy times, crazy things happen. And I think this is going to be the thing that's going to break down the barriers that are preventing legalized weed. Because I know in Georgia, you can have cannabis oil and some other stuff. And people had to fight long and hard just to get the oil. You're not even getting high from taking oil. But I think all these barriers are going to fall down. And another thing that's about to happen, the average age of congressional people, whether on a state level or a federal level, is about to come down. Because when you see Nancy Pelosi, I think Nancy is like 79, Donald Trump 77, Mitch McConnell, I think he's in his 70s. This is a problem. And once we usher in a bunch of 40 year olds, I think you're going to see some crazy level of change because the demographics going to change and the mindset of the people who will be representing us on a state level and a local on a state level and a federal level is about to go a fundamental shift. This next election is going to be really, really telling what's going to happen. Are we going to keep with the old fogies, the old establishment? Are we going to vote in some new, younger blood? Because once that starts happening, these folks are going to be more relatable to what's happening and what's, what, what people are dealing with in real life. And I feel that when we have that movement, when we have that situation, when we have people who get in office who understand what the average man or woman, because there's a fundamental disconnect. Mitt Romney's a, a, almost a billionaire and Donald Trump is a billionaire. And there is a, and uh, Steve Mnuchin, the secretary of treasury, he, he's worth like $400 million. So these people cannot mentally relate to Keisha with 2.5 kids working minimum wage and catching economic hell. They, they can't relate. It's because, you know, a Steve Mnuchin, all of his people, all his friends are well connected. They make good money. They're living good lives. And that's all he sees. And that is his world. That's his world. So once we start to vote in younger people who are not rich, and if you study what happens to people who go to Congress and stay a long time, it is amazing how rich they get. It's like, whoa, you know, they already have a six figure salary and then these connections and exposure and they hear about certain things and they make certain investments. And the next thing you know, they're leaving Congress and going on K Street and becoming a lobbyist and pulling down three, four million a year and working the nine to five. So there, there is a fundamental disconnect. And I feel that that's one of the reasons that this hasn't happened, because America wants stimulus checks and America wants weed. And I feel in the very near future that this is going to happen and it's going to open up so many doors and it's going to open up so many opportunities. And one of the things that's got to change is we got to change all the laws because you can't have weed at one level legal. But if you do it this way, then you can still go to jail for selling weed outside the system. So we're going to have to fix the laws. We're going to have to fix a lot of stuff. And this is why I feel that, you know, three, three to 10 years is when this is going to happen. So let me know your thoughts. And if you want to be an entrepreneur, go below, get 30 days to 2,500, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. And if you're in a position, get the money management course, because this is where it all starts. 
Even millionaires need budgets. Really, I'm, I'm here to tell you because even though you may have $10 million, which is a lot of money, it is a finite sum of money. It is not a unlimited sum of money. And if you spend it like it's unlimited, you will find out really quickly just how fast you can go broke. So with that, that's all I got for you guys today. Check it out. Here's another video right here.